Hey, it's Charity and meet Juliana Goldman. She's a runaway teen that is going to be starring in a new series. And yes, I know I have a lot of series going right now, but I just had to do something with Horse Ranch and it didn't really fit into any of my other ones. So Juliana is run away from home as a teenager. She's quit school and her aspiration is to be a horse rancher. And we've purchased this large lot, which we bulldozed. And I put 6,000 simoleons of debt into her inventory so we will be paying taxes on this and then we'll be getting rid of them once we earn the money for paying for this lot so the way I've set this up is that we have a cat hangout a dog hangout and breeding ground and we have the lot challenges creepy crawlers filthy off the grid reduce and recycle simple living wild foxes and prairie grass so we're going to be running a horse hotel and of course we won't be able to get any horses right away because we have zero simoleons as most rags to riches start out. So the way we'll, we will be earning money is through collecting things around the world and also doing the jobs because you can actually get horse riding skill by doing the jobs on the community board. So with Horse Ranch, you get this community board and you can enter competitions, but you can also get community jobs. So the first thing that we're going to do is train a neighbor's horse because that's the only one we're qualified for. So she'll go off to a rabbit hole real quick, but she'll earn some riding skill. And we got 138 simoleons, and it's just as simple as that. But I think the real way that you can earn money in Horse Ranch is the prairie grass, because you can get nectar bottles from them. But since we're a teenager, I am not going to allow that, because she cannot sell nectar, since nectar is kind of like Sims 4 version of alcohol. So she is not allowed to sell or make any nectar yet. She can when she becomes an adult, but this is set to long lifespan, so she has 84 days as a teenager. So for 84 days, we are going to be focusing only on horse breeding and maybe get some goats and sheep and make money that way. But this is also going to be a horse ranch hotel. And the way that I'm going to do that is right now, since she is on the out in the woods area. She could only build log cabins and have cots and showers that come with the horse ranch pack and also the bathtubs. She can only have outdoor areas for her animals, not full-fledged barns, and she can't have any electronics since she's off the grid. So we will only be using things that are compatible with off the grid and things that can run. We might get a power generator just because some things won't work without a little bit of power in the household because of, you know, Sims 4 bugs. So basically anyone who comes to the front door, if she has enough room room in the household in order to add them to the family we will add them to the family as hotel guests and in order to add them she has to be able to provide each of their family members with a bed and we also need the basics which is a refrigerator a place to cook something and also a place to shower and have fun so at first she's not going to be doing very much except for these jobs because before we can do any of that, we actually need to pay off the debt to buy the land. Okay, before I pay the debt to buy off the land though, she is allowed to buy certain things. So you can buy a bush or a tent or anything really that is outdoors based but it can't be something that is for indoors. So we can buy a bush in order to use a toilet. And why don't I just go use one of the bushes in the world, you ask? No, she has to buy everything and use everything on her lot. She's not allowed to use things that are on other lots. So we'll get a bush and you could actually nap in the bush. So the only other thing that we need is some way to get food. I don't know why she doesn't have fun on the jobs because she actually likes horse riding. We'll try to see if we can do one more. Oh, it's only available from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay. The cheapest grill is 600 simoleons. I'm actually going to allow her to harvest the prairie grass. 
Prairie grass is actually a way of cheating because you can get finely aged nectar bottles and I think that that is a little bit too overpowered. Oh, one of the dogs or cats left me some feathers. That's why I did the cat and dog lot because they'll actually get feathers from the bush and they can be sold for a lot of money. This is not how I really want to make the money, but this is how we're going to get our start. Okay, so now we have enough for a grill, but I don't know if we'll have enough for any ingredients for it. Oh, we could go fishing and get some fish. Oh, the prairie grass is popping up. Okay, before I didn't have this ever happen where it would actually pop up on the lot, but that is kind of interesting because I didn't want to buy it. You can buy it and build by for like four simoleons and that's kind of cheating because it comes already grown and you can immediately harvest and get all of your simoleons back and have a chance at getting a $2,000 bottle of nectar. Okay, time to go to work. Okay, it seems the community jobs will not feed you. Sometimes when you go to school or you go to work, they will actually get your hunger up, but not the community jobs. So we're going to have to go to the store and buy some groceries. Okay, we can make some grilled fruit, but I know she's going to hate cooking now. Whenever you have a sim do something when they're very uncomfortable, you're probably going to get a pop-up that says, do you want to dislike this? And really, I tell myself that I have to accept it because basically otherwise there's no motivation to keep your sims in a good mood. Normally, it's pretty easy to keep them in a good mood anyway. Oh, come on, you're not going to get my food. No, you can't have my food. This is my food. Oh, really? Maybe I can grab it from my inventory and not let the cats get any of it. Okay, yeah, that works. Oh, come on, don't walk all the way over there. Just eat your food. No, don't talk to the cats. Eat your food. Now you're going to pass out. Just eat your food. Stop talking to the cats. Time to go to work. How can you be missing horses? You've been training a neighbor's horse for the past two days. We're almost to horse riding too doing this. Okay, horse riding too. Now the question is, do we have enough to afford a rescue horse? Because we have 712 simoleons and we need to buy a feeder and a water trough and a bed before we can allow ourselves to get a horse. First, let's harvest all this prairie grass that grew. This is actually fun for her. I think it's because she's a ranch hand. Oh, when we got a bottle of nectar, but we're not allowed to sell these. Now we can drink them. You know, just because we're a teenager doesn't mean we can't illegally drink it. However, we cannot sell it because no one would buy alcohol from a teenager. Yeah, it allows you to drink it. It really shouldn't because this is technically alcohol, but teenagers can also order at bars even though kids can't. So if kids can't drink it, why can teenagers drink it? That's my question. Okay, I guess we need somewhere to put all of our dirty plates. So we're going to start out with a dumpster. This is another way to make it easy money, but I'm not going to use it too much. I'm just going to use it to get some food. I wonder if nectar will get your hunger up. Uh, we have our first visitor, Morgan Fires. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have any room for you, but the rules say that we have to accept them anyway, and first priority will be getting them a tent to sleep in. Oh, it does get her hunger up. It just drains her bladder. Okay, and now Juliana has a crush on Morgan for some reason. I do not have enough money for a tent. Well, it's going to be bushes for everyone then. Oh, and one person can sleep in the dumpster. All right, that was all my money. Now I can't control the other Sims, but what I can do is have them quit their jobs because they're not allowed to earn any money. They can earn money by painting and doing things like that that I can in turn sell, but they have to autonomously do it. Okay, I'll nap in the dumpster because I think that you can't nap in it if it's really full. Okay, I found a midnight treat, but I don't think that matters unless I have a chicken. Next priority should be getting a tent, but I can get two of these for the price of a four-person tent. So maybe we should just go with the two-person tent because that will greatly help my ability to recover my energy. And we also need a shower. I think this one will work in the presence of other Sims. Let's try it. One thing I have noticed about the Sims is for some reason, they will not autonomously use these bushes. So they might be peeing their pants a little bit. Oh, he did go in there. I've never seen a Sim actually use those bushes before. 
Oh, Dominic is a freegan. Okay, Morgan skipped school to become best friends with me. That's strange because she's in my household. I didn't think that it was supposed to happen that way. Maybe it was because I cheated to add her to my household. Now, I know it doesn't make a lot of sense that these people came all the way out here just to stay on a horse ranch with a runaway teen, but just go with it because later on it will make more sense. Okay, Dominic found an excellent cake in the dumpster. All right, you have better luck than I do. I think I'm going to have to get another tent because they like to go into the tent and relax and it's just annoying because then I can't sleep in it. All right, everybody, wake up and get some food before it spoils. And there are no cats or dogs around, so they all need to get the food now. Come on, get some food, Mora. All right, we're planting some of the seeds that we bought at the store instead of using the fruit for food because it's hard to get anything here really that allows you to make a meal unless you have some plantain, meat, or fish. I think we're going to just sleep through all of Thursday. All right, there's a little bit of food left. Hopefully they can eat this before it goes bad. We don't say hi to the cats and dogs. Just eat your food. This happens every time. Eat your food, don't hop up and down like you have to go to the bathroom. I know you do. It's going to spoil. Quit talking to the dog. No, she walks over there even though I canceled the action. He's asleep. Stop talking to him. And now it's spoiled. And you're going to get sick. No, don't take that. I was going to get that. So I've actually changed my mind. I moved out all of the adults and we're just going to take in the teens that come around, at least until I can clear the $6,000 worth of debt from the property, because it doesn't really make sense that she's allowing adults to stay here. But we're going to open a hotel, basically. And the people who live here are going to be part of the household, but I can't control them unless all of their needs are green. Oh, wow, all of your needs are green then I can send them horseback riding. But I don't have any horses yet, so we will be doing that later. Now, I found some golden eggs and toast in the dumpster. However, they're spoiled. I don't think it matters, though. I think if I eat them, I still get the benefit of the golden chicken. And what that does is it allows me to make all of my plants perfect quality. So I'm going to eat it anyway, even though it's spoiled. She's going to take two hours to finish this eggs and toast. Okay, I have two hours to make all of my plants perfect. And it works even though she's completely uncomfortable. And it's okay if I don't have them planted yet. I can still make them perfect. And she dislikes gardening. She became uncomfortable for two seconds and she dislikes gardening. Oh well, that's how it goes. Oh, I found a bizarre fruit. Now, I could eat the bizarre fruit and max out all of my needs. However, I would become possessed for the rest of the Let's Play because I'm not going to Strangerville. So we are not going to be planting or keeping that. Oh, I got lots of feathers. All right, I had enough money to pay off one of the $3,000 monoliths and we just have one more in our inventory oh i can invite morgan to go fishing now i guess morgan decided not to come yeah fishing is a little bit overpowered too because i just got a lump of clay which sells for 150. all right what i really want is another fish just so i can cook dinner but that's the end of the week so there's my second fish and this is charity thanks for watching